in today's video. Hey, don't. Louie. Okay, Louie, I don't know where you found it, but you're going to have to give that back to me. It is not for little babies like you, okay? It's for big kids like me. So can I have it? That really wasn't meant like a question. You just need to give it back to me, okay? Hey, don't. Louie, that wasn't very nice. You don't smack. Ow, Louie. That was very, very bad, Louie. Give me that. There you go. Now you don't have it anymore. Oh, you're gonna have a temper tantrum, aren't you? <laughs> hey, Mom! Someone once told me that once the kids get older, they can help you with the chores around the house, and life will get easier. I wonder when that will happen. Has the counter always been this high? Yes, it has. Now jump, you wuss. Take it easy. You have done this before, so don't be scared. That's true. Okay, I guess I'll jump. Yes, do it. Jump, 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 jump. Alright, alright, I'll do it. One, two... Ow. Derek, are you okay? Uh-huh. You almost didn't make it to the change table. Well, let's see you do better. It's your turn. Mommy? Mommy? I can't get over this gate. Someone help me, I'm stuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can do it. Uh, uh oh. Okay, baby Louie, are you ready to drive some car? You better hang on. Ready, set. <coughs> hey, pst, I'm talking. And go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. That's a lot of fun, Louie, isn't it? You want to drive some more? Ready, set, go! <laughs> Maggie, be careful. He almost fell off the table. But there's a rug on the floor. That's not safe. You need to get ready because we're going to head out the door. You and Derek. Wait, why me? I need you guys to come with me so I can buy you some jackets at the mall. But I don't want to. When will I stop sitting in a car seat? Well, you're gonna sit there for a while because you are still considered a baby. And you're considered a butt face. You can't count until five. I know that you're a hundred percent loser. Hey, cut it out. Hey, no, don't take my toy. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. You took my toy. Give it back. Am I still a hundred percent loser? No, you're five hundred percent loser. I see. Well, here's your doll. Ugh, fine. Hey, did you take the seatbelt off? I just gotta grab something. Derek took the seatbelt off, Mommy. Hey, put your seatbelt back on. Just give me one minute. Derek, you gotta listen. Oh no, there's a deer. A what? A deer. <laughs> Derek. Derek, are you okay? I told you to put the seat belt back on. You should really vacuum this car. <coughs> uh, 
Oh, my arm really, really hurts. You know, I told you to put your seatbelt back on, and you didn't. So now look at you. <clears throat> Mom, I'm not getting a, a vaccination, right? No, we're not here for you. We're here because your brother does not know how to put a seatbelt back on and how to stay safe. And now his arm is probably broken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You think my arm is broken? It doesn't look straight, does it? Oh, I don't want to cast. I think I want to go home. <laughs> Crap. Hi, Derek. My name is Dr. McDonald's. McDonald's? Yes, Dr. McDonald. Great. I hear that someone has not been wearing their seatbelt. Let me have a look at your arm. Does this hurt? Yeah, it makes it worse when you twist. All right, well, how about when I do this? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Well, kid, not gonna lie, I think you're gonna need an x-ray. What's an x-ray? Do I have to get an x-ray? No, sweetheart. No x-ray for you. Now come along, Derek. Let's get your arm checked out. Okay, I'll get you to stand over there. Ten minutes later. I got bad news and good news for you. Bad news is, look right here, your arm is broken. What? What's the good news? Good news is, you're gonna get a cast, you know? It's gonna stay on for about 12 weeks. But you can get it signed by your classmates. High five. I can't really high five with that arm. It's broken. How? Oh, you, you're so funny. You should be a comedian when you grow up. Anyways, dear, time to reset your arm. First of all, we're going to give you something for the pain. Okay, can I have something cherry flavored? Oh, dear, you're going to get a little poke. Can I have something cherry flavored instead? No, it's not gonna work as well, dear. Trust me, you rather want the poke. Whoa. See? All done. Is it over? I can't watch that stuff. Yes, it's over. And now I will reset your arm. What does reset mean? Are you ready? Yup. There we go. Maggie, Maggie, are you okay? <laughs> Ten minutes later. And we are almost done here. And there you go. How did that feel? Pretty good, actually. All right, so your cast is all good. And how about you, Maggie? You still have a bad tummy? I'm okay. Then I'll see you again in 12 weeks. Don't forget to grab some candy on the way out. It was a Saturday morning and I picked up my little baby nephew, Louie, to come over. Are we home, Louie? You ready to come out? I bet all your cousins are gonna be so happy to see you. Hey everyone, your baby cousin Louie's over. Here you go, Louie. Now go get your cousins. I know they want to play with you. Five minutes later. Okay, Louie. You need to listen to me. This is very important. When you look on the floor, you will see a line, a barrier that goes all the way to Derek. I had nothing to do with it. Now, on my side of the line, you will see a bunch of toys. Those are all of my toys, and I'm going to play with them today. Okay? So you're not allowed to touch or play with them. That's kind of rude. Shut up, Derek. I'm not talking to you. You are hoarding toys. And you need to mind your own business. Business. 
Anyways, Louie, and on the other side are your toys that you can play with. <coughs> Do you understand that? He understands that you're hoarding toys. No. No. No, you're not allowed to play with that. That's mine. You can play with the ball and the block that I gave you. Way to go, Maggie. You hurt his feelings. I didn't know he was going to be such a baby about it. Louie! Louie, stop crying. It's all your fault. Hey, what's going on? Why is Louie crying? I don't know. He's being very moody. He's having a temper tantrum. Maggie's hoarding a bunch of toys and she doesn't want to share any of them with him. I called first dibs on the toys. Maggie, you need to share. He's just a baby. Louie. Louie, it's okay. Come on, sweetie. Sit up. There. It's okay. Which one do you want? He wants the toy car. Aw, you want the toy car? Okay. Here you go. You can play with the toy car. I was gonna play with the car. Maggie, look at all the toys that you set aside for yourself. I was gonna play with all of them. You're not gonna play with all these toys at once. You only have two hands. Stop being greedy with all the toys. Fine. Are you happy, you big tattletale? Actually, yes. That was kind of funny when mommy got angry at you. What? Yup, that's right. I said it was funny. It suits you right for not sharing with baby Louie. <coughs> Ow! What did you hit me for? Hey, mom? Mom? Yeah? Mom, Maggie hit me. You and your big blabber mouth. Maggie, what did I tell you about hitting your siblings? I didn't do it. You're going into time out. <laughs> <laughs> That's still really, really funny. I don't want to go into the time out corner. Maggie, you're going to sit here and you're going to think about what you did and then you're going to apologize to Derek for hitting him. I'm not going to apologize to him. Excuse me? He's stupid. Well, then you're just going to sit there for a while. I got to go make dinner. Putting a frozen pizza in the oven is not considered cooking. Fine, you don't get any. <coughs> huh? Oh, hi, Louie. What are you doing? I'm in timeout right now. Oh, you want to play with me? <coughs> That's so sweet. We can play, and then when I'm done in this corner, I have other toys we can play with. Whee! Here I go! Woo! <coughs> Woo! <coughs> What is that? Beep beep! Out of the way! Maggie, why is she up so early? <sighs> well, can't go back to sleep anymore. Might as well get up. <coughs> Maggie? Maggie, where are you? I need to talk to you. Whoa, take it easy. Hey, Dick, what are you doing? You want to play? I'll even let you push the doll stroller. Derek was really irritated with Maggie. No, I don't want to play. Why not? Because you woke me up. I was trying to sleep in. You sound kind of mad about that. I am. I'm really frustrated. I go to school all week and I want to sleep in on Saturdays. Oh, come on, turn that frown upside down, and let's play some dolls. Nope. See you later, Maggie. Ugh, he is so rude. So, Derek didn't want to play with her. But, there's always Jenny. Hey, 
Hey, Jenny, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, Maggie, you scared me. I'm reading a book. Sounds a little boring. Do you want to play with me? No, not really. I want to finish this book. I want to play hide and seek. You can finish your book later. You always cheat when we play hide and seek. No, uh you're just mad because you lose all the time. Anyways, Maggie, no means no. I'm busy reading this book, so leave me alone. And it was right then that Maggie snapped. Mm, fine, be that way, you book nerd. You're gonna regret this. I am going to have my revenge on you. For what? For not playing with you? You and Derek are boring, and so are the rest of our siblings. Maggie stomped off angry to the kitchen. Yeah. I know it's in here. Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! Thumbtacks! Maggie was a whole nother level of mad. Her plan was to stick a thumbtacks into the carpet and then wait for one of her siblings to walk into the living room and step on it. And that will be Maggie's revenge. Uh-uh-uh, you know better than to do that. Do it, do it. Maggie was facing a moral dilemma. Or maybe not. After sticking the thumbtacks into the living room carpet, she went on with the rest of her day. Meanwhile, I had my own struggles with my nephew, Baby Louie. Okay, Baby Louie, you had a big smoothie, so now you can go potty. Are you ready to go potty? But Louie, you were doing so good with potty training. Don't you want to give it a try? Okay, what if I gave you a cookie? Try then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, have a cookie and then you're going to try going potty. Excellent! High five! Who wants to go potty? Okay, go ahead, Louie. Your auntie's gonna be so proud. You should have given him the cookie afterwards. Not before. Well, yeah, I know that now. Meanwhile, in the living room, Maggie was living it up. Whee! She was jumping on the sofa like it was a trampoline. Bouncing off the sofa, she was having so much fun, and then she was ready for that final jump. And it was then that she realized she messed up. No! Mommy! Mommy, help me! Come over here! Well, what else can I do with him? <gasps> Maggie! Maggie, Maggie, are you okay? Wait. Is that a thumbtacks in your foot? Stop asking questions, woman, and take this thing out of my foot! I don't know how to take that safely out of your foot. Well, well, Maggie, it feels like I just saw you last week. Um, that's because you just did see me last week, remember? Oh, you're right. So, tell me, how did you end up with a thumbtacks in your foot? That's confi- conf- co Confidential? That's what I said. You, my dear, are such a clown. Okay, I'm gonna get you to lay back and then I'm gonna pull that thing out. There we go, dear. Now did that hurt at all? Not really. Oh, you brave little girl, you. Okay, I'm just going to clean that up and then we're going to put a little band-aid on it. There we go. Oh, good, so now I can go? No, dear, I gotta give you a vaccination because sometimes when you step into a nail, that can give you a really bad illness. Wait, you're gonna give me a vaccination right now? That's right, but don't you worry, it will only take one second. Sorry about that, doctor. I'll get her. No worries. 
five minutes later. Mommy, I don't want a vaccination. I am fine. Maggie, it's just one extra minute. Don't you worry, Maggie. You always are scared and there's nothing to be scared about. I'm not scared. I just don't like it. Look at that bicep girl. Okay, you're going to promise me that you're not going to punch me. That bicep, okay? Not going to promise anything. Maggie. Okay, okay, okay. No punching. Good girl. And now you're all done. I told you not to be such a scaredy cat. Just be a brave girl like your brother and sisters. Okay? <coughs> Maggie! It was a cold Saturday afternoon and the dolls were at home playing. All right, I found it. Hey, Jenny. Jenny. I found Jenga. We can play now. Where are ya? I'm downstairs. Well, hurry up. I want to play. All right, I'm here. Let's do this. If you want to lose again. Okay, whatever. I let you win last time. Anyways, are you ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to dump out all the blocks. Fine, here you go. Thank you. <sighs> okay, ready to build? Five minutes later. You know what I don't like about Jenga, Jenny? What's that? It takes a while to build it, and then you're just going to tear it down anyways. But that's the whole game, Derek. Well, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Come and catch me. You'll never get me. Oh, I'm so going to get you. Tag, you're it. Hey, hey, Mindy, Maggie, we're trying to play a game of Jenga here and you're disturbing. You're not supposed to be running around inside anyways. We should probably tell mommy or otherwise they'll end up ruining our game. You're too slow. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Are you okay, Derek? Am I okay? Am I okay? I don't think he's okay. Why do you never listen to anything I say? I said don't run inside, but what do you do? I... Uh, I'm talking. You run inside, and not only do you do that, you knock everything over. You always ruin all the games we play. I... I, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Uh-oh, here we go. She's going to start crying. That's not true. I, 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 uh, <laughs> Maybe you should just leave her alone now, Derek. She's not even really crying, she's just having a temper tantrum, Jenny. It's not true. Oh, Maggie, I think you need to stop fake crying. Yep, stop having temper tantrums to get your way. No one's going to believe you anymore. And you know what? And I wish I didn't have any siblings at all. I wish I was an only child. <laughs> What was that? Was that outside? It sounded scary. I wonder what time it is. And where is Mindy? I thought she took a nap with me. Oh no, was that thunder and lightning? Getting out of here. Where's mommy? Mommy, mommy, where are you? I'm upstairs. Oh, finally someone.
on. I'm coming, Mommy. Just hang on a minute. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, Maggie. Aren't you supposed to be in bed? Well, I can't sleep. I woke up from all the thunder and lightning outside. It was really, really loud. Did you find it scary? Yeah, I did. It was scary. Hey, I don't want to go back downstairs. Aw, uh, it'll be okay. Here, come here. Thunder and lightning happens all the time. And you know what? You're inside and nothing is going to happen to you inside at all. So you should enjoy it because it does look really, really cool. Yeah, you're right. It does look pretty cool. It's not scary. No, it's not scary at all. So you go back to bed and you have a good sleep. Um, Mommy, is it okay if one of my sisters can sleep with me in the same bed? Like a sleepover? Maggie, what do you mean? You don't have any sisters. You don't have any siblings at all. What? I don't have any siblings? No, you're an only child. You're, you're an, an only child. child. You're, you're an only child. child. An only child. Maggie, are you okay? Maggie, Maggie, are you okay? I think so. You finally woke up. Don't look at me that way. You're the one that fell over our Jenga blocks. Derek, you're my sibling. Okay, did you lose some of your memory? No, no, I didn't lose any of my memory. But I had a weird dream, I think. But none of you were in it. Well, it's okay. I mean, you fell back on your head and then you were passed out for a few minutes. You know, technically, if you would have played Jenga, you would have lost it because you kicked everything over. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. But I didn't, so I didn't lose. Maggie? Maggie, are you okay? Yep, she was playing tag with Mindy, and then she ran into her Jenga blocks and fell on the back of her head. You are such a tattletale. Maggie, I told you not to run around inside. It's too small in here. Come on, let's go check on your head. Okay. Maggie's head was okay. It just had a little bump. But she was sure happy that she did have, after all, all her siblings. Even Derek. Then Kiki Cat made a bunch of cupcakes, and wouldn't you know it, they ate them all. The end. Derek, can you please read the story to me one more time? Pretty please? But I just read it to you for like the fifth time. But I really like it. Fine. It was a Saturday morning, and Gabby just woke up. When are they gonna bake the cake? Not yet. <laughs>